this probably works offensively in our favor this year more than maybe some other places because uh, like even in our offensive staff meeting this morning, our coaches are a little bit relieved because we have the offense in. And, you know, I, I've been saying to, to media all winter, we've got 35 coaches coming back on top of the four coaches that I have that are full-time because we've got 35 veteran players coming back that know the offense. So when our young guys, the 25 new young guys that come in, turn around in, in, in back of the line of a drill or something that we're doing, I've got a whole slew of receivers or linemen or running backs there that can teach them because they already know it. And so it's a benefit for us. I mean, we would much rather have spring ball and get the reps and get the physicality and do all of those things, but we're not reinventing the offense. We're not uh, installing all kinds of new stuff. Um, so we're, we're probably ahead of the game mentally, and I think we'll probably get into the groove a little bit sooner in camp in August than some others would because the offense hasn't changed. So as long as Sam Howell is here, the offense will be what he knows right now, and we're just going to keep working on getting better at it with him, and that's true for every, every position in the offense. We're trying to get to a point where they're playing instinctively, and in order to do that, they've got to be able to do this with their eyes closed or without having to think. And, and uh, we wanted to be able to snap the football and go play really, really fast. And you can only do that when things come instinctively to you. And so it is, it's, it's designed that way. It's definitely the silver lining with the issue that's going on right now. And we'll still have to recover mentally and recover physically, just like everybody else in the nation when we get back. But I, I think the mental curve is gonna be much shorter um, just because that's always been an advantage in this offense.